Welcome to Ride On 2. Today we're going to tackle the 3R challenge. I've been challenged by Moto Rider 41 to state three reasons why I ride the bike I do. This challenge was first given out by Governor 947 and he is from the Challenge Accepted Moto Vlog Facebook page group. There will be a link down below to everybody's covered here in the video their their channels. So not only do I have to give out three reasons, I also have to nominate three other moto vloggers. I spent quite a bit of time making sure that the, the three people that I'm going to nominate not only don't have a challenge, but I couldn't find anybody else that challenged them. So I keep this thing going. All right, so let's kick this off. First and foremost, the number one reason I bought this BMW F750 GS was uh, I've always wanted a BMW. But I always thought they were out of reach uh, monetarily. You know, I thought they were, the price was really high. But the, um, the Japanese bikes and the Harleys, there's not that big of a difference in price anymore. Or maybe there just wasn't a price, and I thought because it had a BMW uh, you know, tag on it that uh, they were too expensive. But friend of mine was uh, going to the BMW dealer and I had tagged along and started looking at the bikes and found out yeah there are some expensive bikes 20 30 grand but you know you can get into a, a bike like this which is what I wanted anyway and uh, it's not that bad when I decided I was buying a new bike, it came down between this and the V-Strom 1000. I chose uh, this. It, it says 750, but it's really got an 850 motor in it. 853 to be exact. But um, I don't know, for some reason they designate the road version 750. And uh, what the hell's going on here? Slow train. So yeah, I uh, I narrowed it down. It was either the V-Strom 1000 and the BMW. So, and that brings me to <clears throat> reason number two is why I chose this over the oh, frickin' tractor. Christ, like pull over and let everybody buy, huh? So yeah, so the reason I chose the BMW over the V-Strom is reason number two. Three year warranty. Nobody else gives you a three year warranty. I mean, you may be able to buy them, you know, but I'm not, I'm not paying extra for something that I can get included. Um, when it comes to reliability, I don't care whether it's a, a Japanese bike, you know, Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Yamaha, they're all fairly reliable as long as you take care of them. BMWs, you see people putting insane mileage on them you know, 30, 30,000 miles in a year. If you take care of the bike, it'll take care of you. It's not, uh, where did that tractor go? I'm going this way. If you, uh, you take care of your bike, it'll take care of you. But um, three year warranty, not only that, 
it comes with BMW roadside assistance and that is just it's like having AAA for free AAA is like in order to get it for a motorcycle it's like 130 bucks a year because you gotta have the, the top of the line package you can't have the just a motorcycle package is what all, all I would want it for like when we were traveling or something so and that gets me to reason number three I bought this bike because uh, the wife and I want to do some traveling on a motorcycle and traveling on a ZX6R especially two up is definitely no fun um, This is more of a uh, upright riding position. I've been able to put on more miles in the three months that I've owned this than I put on the Kawasaki in any year that I owned it. Uh, it just, it's so much easier to go for longer rides. Uh, the wife enjoys riding. You know, she's expressed interest in it. She wanted to ride more. And uh, so far, it's been the best decision in my you know, motorcycle riding life besides the actual decision to start riding. Um, the wife asks to go riding more often. Well, actually, she never asked before. I would always ask her, but she's actually asked, hey, can we go for a ride today? It's like, sure, you don't have to give me a reason. But um, yeah, uh, I mean, th those are my three reasons. Uh, I've always wanted a BMW warranty and what comes with the purchase of a BMW and the touring and being able to ride with a passenger is so much easier. It's, it has made... Uh, a big change in my motorcycle lifestyle so now I gotta name three and like I said I, I made sure that none of these people were had been challenged before as far as I can tell and I hope I got three that haven't been challenged so first off I'm gonna start with first up he doesn't like baby food he lives in his own world. That's right. We're talking about Sam's world. Why do you ride the bike that you ride? Three reasons. And next, the adventures of the bearded bobber. He rides an Indian bobber. I've seen him do quite a few first rides and they're always enjoyable. So I think I'd like to hear him do it on his Indian bobber. That would be kind of cool. Because he's only got three reasons and he's going to have to come up with the th three top reasons why he likes his bike. And then lastly, we're going to nominate a card carrying member of the Mama Mafia. That's right. The one, the only, Bombshell Biker. Bombshell Biker, we want to know three reasons why you ride your motorcycle. She did a, a recent ride on an Indian, and it was really cool. So now I want to hear you tell us why you ride your bike. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, remember, ride safe, ride often, and ride on too. Ciao, everybody. Hey!
Okay, touchdown. What the hell, holding up the traffic? Not the nicer peoples. All right, hey, hey, oh, hope, hey, 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 h